a years-long courtroom saga finally has a conclusion, for now at least. On December 15th, Quebec's highest court ruled the province and Canada acted in an unworthy, dishonorable and abusive manner when it came to funding Indigenous police services, particularly in Mashtoyats. The Innu community is now owed a combined $1.6 million, which equals the deficit it accumulated over a five-year period while trying to deliver policing services on a shoestring budget. On n'avait pas le nombre d'effectifs nécessaires pour uh, uh, assurer un service équivalent à nos voisins. Here's what you need to know. In 2019, Mashayats took Quebec and Canada to court, arguing the federal and provincial governments weren't following up on their commitment to adequately fund Indigenous police. But a trial judge eventually ruled against the community. So they launched an appeal and a human rights complaint. In early 2022, the Canadian Human Rights Tribunal acknowledged willful underfunding of Indigenous police in Canada wide. And this week's Court of Appeal ruling reinforces the same and overturns the previous ruling against Mastoyage. Ça confirme effectivement là qu'on a été victime de discrimination et que malheureusement encore aujourd'hui en 2022, il existe bien sûr de la discrimination là ou du racisme systémique là dans différentes là euh, approches euh, par euh, euh, effectuées par les gouvernements. In a statement, AFNQL Regional Chief Ghislaine Picard said peace, order and public safety are at the root of a blatant discrimination against our communities. Governments must recognize this and act. Neither Quebec or Canada's public security ministries returned APTN's request for comment by deadline. Quand on souhaite qu'ils honorent leurs responsabilités, qu'ils prennent acte de ce jugement et qu'ils ajustent leur financement en fonction euh, des besoins réels des Premières Nations. Tout le monde le mentionne, hein? tous les corps de police le mentionnent euh, en plus que les meilleures personnes pour intervenir, pour assurer la sécurité dans, chez les Premières Nations, c'est les membres des Premières Nations. If Quebec or Canada decides to appeal this compensation ruling, the issue will be taken before a judge at the Supreme Court of Canada. Lindsay Richardson, APTN National News, Montreal.